Hello, my dear Capricorn. How are you? This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your October forecast right here. And what a great forecast. Can't wait to share it with you. So let's just jump in. Okay. First of all, let's talk about Mars. Mars is the planet of energy. Wherever Mars is, that's what we fight with and fight for. That's what comes first to us. Well, it's been in your ninth house of your higher mind. Um, you're seeing concepts, principles, not just ideas. And you may be fighting for your principles and taking a stand for them because we'll fight with or for wherever Mars is. Higher education is the ninth house. Beautiful. On the fourth, Mars moves into your 10th house, and that is your natural house in the natural zodiac. This is the area of your career, your public image. And with Mars there, you are throwing yourself into your career and moving upward into a position of leadership. You rock, you go for it. Now, the sun is already in the 10th house, and that's the center of our life because it's the center of our solar system. Don't you love this? And so you've got both Mars and the sun saying, move upward. No lateral moves for you. Move upward in your career. Do that. Okay? Now, I want to mention this also. Mercury, the blue planet. Venus, the pink planet, are also in that 10th house. Uh, Venus is what we love. Venus is beauty and it, it just, it's the lesser benefic. It brings money, it brings joy, happiness, it brings popularity. It's been in your 10th house and so your career, your public image has been um, aided by Venus. On the eighth, Venus moves into your 11th house of friends and you are a friend, and you love being a friend, and you love being with your friends. And this can bring great friendships for you, whether connecting with old friends or making new ones. Mercury is what we think about and talk about. Well, whatever you think about grows. It's been in your 10th house. This is fabulous. What it has done is help you focus on your career and speak from a position of leadership. And while Venus has been in your 10th house, your popularity has increased. When Venus moves into your 11th, as I mentioned, you're loving your friends. When Mercury moves in on the third, you're thinking about them, you're talking to them, you may be talking with friends. Um, Mercury is the communicator. And so um, the sun, ultimately moves into your 11th house on the 23rd. And that is when your leadership in groups soars. I love it. So we end the month with the sun and Mercury and Venus all saying, enjoy your friendships, enjoy the groups you're involved with and be a friend. Now the full moon on, um, October 13th is in your fourth house of home, family, and real estate. On the full moon, things come to a head. This is great because it helps you balance all this 10th house career stuff, doesn't it? I love the way that looks. So both home and family and career are triggered. Then the moon starts waning. And ultimately, two weeks later, after the full moon, we have a new moon. But for, oh, two days or so before the new moon, energy is low. So you're not going to start any new friendships or you're, you're just not going to have a party. On the new moon, that's when energy grows. It's in your 11th house. Invite all your friends over because that is when you want to socialize. Now, for those of you who study astrology, you know that Mercury is getting ready to go retrograde on October 31st and will stay retrograde till November 21st. But we're going to be in the shadow of the retrograde starting October 11th and 
ending December 8th. When Mercury goes retrograde, everything gets confused because Mercury is communication, correspondence, transportation. We do not start new projects under a retrograde Mercury. Instead, we tie up the loose ends of unfinished business. Um, my suggestion, since we're gonna be feeling that shadow for a couple of weeks before till a couple of weeks afterwards, it will get stronger as we get closer to the 31st of October. After Mercury goes direct, we will be in another shadow, but it, and it will diminish as we move further away from November 21st. If you can possibly put off starting new projects, um, starting with the first shadow and ending with the December 8th second shadow, that would be good because it's smoother sailing. Uh, while Mercury's retrograde, it's just too easy to start something that doesn't follow, finish up well. You have to redo it. Now, if you're redoing an unfinished project, ah, there you go. If you're finishing up one that you've already begun, perfect. So, I hope this is helpful, and I look forward to seeing you next month when, once again, I give you your forecast. So, till we meet again. May the stars shine brightly on you and yours.